question uh, because uh, where there is inner and outer cleanliness, it approaches to godliness. Swachhata. What is swachhata? Swachhata means cleanliness. So cleanliness means when we are free from all the dirt, pest, and germs. Uh, and it is that much important for us to maintain that cleanliness with us. And Swach Bharat Abhyan or Swachhata Mission or uh, in English we call it as Clean India Mission. This was started in 2024 by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji from Rajasthan Delhi in 2014 uh, on uh, the birth, 145th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. And um, it was uh, uh, the first. Uh, yeah, it aims towards the cleanliness of cleanliness of uh, how we can maintain the cleanliness. Uh, it was only to make all the people aware how we can maintain our cleanliness. And um, uh, for some reason we could not fulfill the uh, fulfill his aim. So. Uh, from 2019 to 2025, the second phase started to maintain the cleanliness again. Uh, Swachhata, in other words, we can say as pollution, uh, free from pollution. So what is pollution? Pollution means something that is uh, some foreign object that causes any, uh, that causes any type of undesirable changes. So, uh, when we talk about uh, pollution, we can say uh, air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, etc. As all of us know, that yesterday India launched uh, Chandrayaan 3, okay, uh, from Sri Kota. Uh, like India, all other countries also, they uh, just launched their satellites and for some of the other reasons, uh, the uh, the aim could not be fulfilled. Like uh, sometimes they fail to touch the orbit. Sometimes for some uh, glitches, uh, some mechanical glitches, they cannot perform their work. So there also they create space pollution. Now if I say about air pollution, due to the rise in uh, number in uh, vehicles and uh, our factories, the emission of CFF uh, gases and CCF gases and um, carbon dioxide, our uh, environment gets polluted, air gets polluted. So uh, it causes many diseases and um, for this the ozone layer depletes. Uh, it causes the skin diseases. And if you say about water pollution, because of these factories, the rise number of in factories, uh, they just uh, release their liquid waste inside the water body. That, uh, that creates a big uh, problem for uh, human beings and as well as the aquatic life. And thermal, uh, uh, for thermal pollution, I can say, uh, people uh, due to the rise in temperature, of, uh, due to the rise of uh, global temperature, the, uh, aqua, the water, temp uh, water body temperature also gets rise. Because of that, the uh, aquatic life gets in problem. And uh, electromagnetic uh, pollution is also there. Uh, because of the uh, because of the use of uh, Wi-Fi and radio electronic uh, waves, uh, some aircraft uh, sometimes it happens that uh, all the aircraft uh, accidents or uh, some cancerous diseases also cause. And uh, noise pollution is as important as all other pollution. Like um, the high volume sounds of uh, aircraft, uh, some construction, they also cause problems and they create so many noise problems, noise pollution. Because of that, um, it leads to the deafness within us. 
and uh, if some people, uh, mostly people do not uh, do not think in that way that life is also get the life pollution is also there. So, um, when we use over illuminated lights or low illuminated lights, that also affects our sight. These are all some pollutions I am talking. We can also talk about our hygiene. Okay, personal like personal hygiene, our surrounding, how we can clean our surrounding, how we can be clean at our workplace, how we can clean our mind and soul. Okay, so personal hygiene means when we clean our body. Personal things we can clean. So it should be dirt free, it should be germ free. And when we uh, get a clean body, we can lead to a healthy life. And uh, after COVID-19, it is very high time for us to maintain our personal hygiene. Then how to clean our place? Our house, everyone clean. And we clean every, uh, every, uh, with a, every regular interval. It is as important uh, as that we clean and we should also segregate the things inside our house. We should segregate the things we are not using it, uh, anymore. And we should segregate them and discard. Just clean our uh, uh, clean our cupboards, arm mirror, everything. And uh, it is the reason why when uh, in older days people used to clean their homes uh, with water and uh, cow dung which was acting as a disinfectant. And then I can say, uh, we also should clean our surroundings. It is not uh, possible for anyone that if he is not aware that, uh, okay, this is my space, I should clean that. I should maintain the cleanliness. And uh, we should dispose all our garbage properly. And uh, uh, if I say, all these things are important, then the workplace cleanliness is also important for us. When we go for, uh, go, for go to our workplace, there we should keep all our files with a level uh, folder. We can uh, just uh, clean our uh, computers, laptops, space and uh, inbox, all these things with a regular interval. So that will create a space or uh, that will create a, uh, a space within our mind. So that have a good effect with our stressful mind. So we can really stress in that way. So what is clean, uh, what is the cleanliness with mind and soul? Our mind also gets uh, cluttered. When we, uh, uh, nowadays we are getting social media uh, with us, and we deal with so many friends, we uh, see news, so many uh, news we are acquiring in our mind. So sometimes there are so many unnecessary things are there. We have to discard the unnecessary things. And if we get a clean and clear mind, we can perform better and we can lead a healthy and good life. So uh, it is uh, like uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi has also said, Cleanliness is next to the godliness. So we should maintain cleanliness from in from within us to throughout the throughout the world or everything. So I want to say like uh, clean mind. It is not visible to us, but we can be see this through uh, like it is only a reflection of our character in our character or in our personality. It is it cannot be seen. And uh, there are some ways how we can clean ourselves. I, I think uh, we can clean our mind. Like uh, we can take a walk uh, while working. We just forget everything and uh, all the stress, all the worries we forget. And we just get fresh air and we get, uh, means we are in a healthy way. It is a, it is a healthy way to clean your mind. Uh, then uh, one another way I think uh, jotting down your thoughts. Uh, when uh, sometimes it happens that our mind is filled up with so many thoughts. So at that time we think, okay, that's enough. We cannot think anymore. At that time we can do one thing. We can write down whatever thoughts come to our mind. Then we can look upon that. Then we can think, think okay, these are the things this is my problem and I can sort out in this way. So it will be another way to clean your mind. And
and uh, we can also move our body. Move our body means how? Like uh, we can dance, we can sing, we can run, we can uh, swim. All these activities also, uh, they just keep us uh, indulged in different different activities and we just forget our stress and worry. After that, uh, I can say yoga, meditation, these are some of the ways where we can uh, clean our mind and soul uh, in a better way. And uh, if we talk about crafts like uh, drawing, painting, crafts and uh, knitting, stitching, all these things, they also have some impact on our cleanliness of mind. They also clean our mind because they just uh, have, uh, uh, they just engage our mind and hand. So we just forget what our, what our the worries we have. And uh, music, music is a very good therapy. Uh, in, uh, it is uh, like a therapy to treat any disease. So we can listen to music, we can sing any music we like. Uh, in that way we can clean our mind. Uh, we can clean our mind by sharing our thoughts also. Uh, it is said, no, when we say our thoughts to our close ones, at that time our heart feels very light. So in that way also we can clean our mind. And uh, when we say uh, cleaning all these things by uh, doing all these things we can clean our mind, we can also clean our mind by giving, organizing our space. How we can organize and how is that possible? Because when our house is full of furnitures and full of things, our mind is also blocked. We are not able to think anything. So we should keep some space so that our uh, that thing will be reflected in our mind. And uh, with all these thoughts, I just want to conclude that uh, Swachh Bharat Abhyan is aims towards the uh, towards the response behavioral changes of people which can uh, uh, which can motivate them to follow some cleanliness and spread the awareness of cleanliness thank you thank you so much